Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to cover a tool called HTT Track that enables users to copy web pages at the click of a button. Um, it's a very powerful tool, very easy to use, and is used in the hacking community to set up login pages or really any type of web page that is familiar to someone, whether that be you know a banking login page or a ticketing system login page. So a hacker would copy this website. A hacker would then host it on their own web server and get a user to visit that web server, whether that be you know a phishing email like, hey, your Office 365 credentials have changed. Um, click this link to change your password. And that link directs a user to the hacker's web page that looks exactly like Microsoft's uh, 0365, uh, like forgot or change password page. And an unsuspecting victim enters in their credentials, and then all of a sudden, the hacker has them stored on his end and has now successfully captured a user's credentials which will lead to a series of videos where we will be able to defend this type of attack. So stick around and let's get into it. But first, time for my shameless plug. If you want to learn more about our company, head on over to opensecure.co. If you would like to hire us for a project, select the contact us link in the description of this video. To see firsthand the power of open source, take advantage of our interactive demo. Select the demo link in the description of this video to start exploring. Now let's get back to the video. So first we need to download our tool, uh, HTT Track, a website copier, as you can see here. It's a, it's a free web crawler uh, that we can just point to a domain uh, but, or a website. But first, we need to download it. Uh, so if you go to their website, HTC Track, and go into download, uh, you can download for a range of operating systems. Uh, I'm just running this on my Windows box, so I use this link here. Downloads, downloads an exe file, and is, uh, so you select that and just run the exe file, and you'll go through the install process, uh, which is very simple. Uh, and I already downloaded it, so I'll go ahead and open this up. And here we get a nice little GUI that we can interact with. So I'll go ahead and select next. Uh, for this project, I'll say, let's do Wells Fargo. Uh, project category, I can leave blank. Uh, base path, yeah, I'll just have it saved to my desktop. So I'll go next. And now it's asking for a web address. So if I go to wellsfargo.com, I can see their login page, right? So, yeah, that's nice, cool. Um, now, <laughs> watch how easy this is. It's probably scary how easy this is. Uh, but I can just select the, the URL there, go to my copier, paste it in the web address that I want to copy, select next. Uh, you can leave these at the default, and I will set finish. And now, our tool, uh, HTT Track now, is crawling the wellsfargo.com URL and is copying everything that it can, right? And this will run for a little while, so I'll skip ahead into when it's done. Okay, and it has copied, uh, so that's good. And now let's go ahead and check out our mirrored website. And so I'm now hosting this just on a local HTML file, right? So I have this local HTML file loaded and I just use a browser to open it. But there's nothing stopping me from spinning up a web server and hosting a you know domain wellsfargo1.com, right? Well, as long as the domain name's not uh, purchased, and loading in this HTML and the subdirectories of all that, right? So if I go into if I go into this file structure here, so if I go into test, I go into Wells Fargo. We can see, and our the HTT Track tool brought all of this in for us, right? So the CSS, some of the JavaScript, the images that it can grab, and it populates all that for us. So with the click of a button, we're able to easily replicate a login page, right? And 
Also, if I try, so now if a user were to log in, I say open secure and a password of please subscribe, the hacker in the background on their web server can have some of their own script in there that's capturing these credentials, right? And you may think you're you know, interacting with a user management system provided by Wells Fargo, but in reality, uh, this is going straight to the attacker. And then if I were to like uh, select sign on, so I think this is a legitimate web page, and then I get redirected to Wells Fargo's legitimate page, right? So this is actually being hosted by Wells Fargo. Uh, I can, and it looks like, oh, I just uh, misentered in my password. So I would enter in my credentials again, say, please subscribe, sign on. Wells Fargo would authenticate my username and password, and I wouldn't know the difference, right? <laughs> and it's very easy for a hacker to do and very cheap, right? Like I can buy a domain name. As long as I can trick my users to going to a domain name that I have spun up and my users are able to, and users are able to access from the internet, you know, I can host what looks like a legitimate Wells Fargo login page, right? And I can do this for whatever login pages or whatever websites that I'm trying to impersonate, right? And I can do that at the click of a button. Uh, so it's, it's kind of scary how, <laughs> how easy that is actually. And unbeknownst to my user, um, they've just been fished and their credentials have been captured. So hope is not lost. We do have a way to defend against this. So stick around for the next video where we will cover a tool called Canary Tokens that will help us defend against this very type of attack. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video. Hey defenders, I wanted to make you guys aware about a Slack channel that I've just created. Uh, I'm hoping we can use this channel to discuss any questions you guys may have, any new open source tools that you guys want to explore, talk any sports, and just get to know each other. There is a link in the description and I hope to see you guys there.